decided to vlog today because I have to start getting back into school mode. I want to get back into the swing of things by like practicing my coding skills and doing a little bit of math. My department was actually very, very kind and sent us math, I guess like skills practice sheets. So it's like primarily solving second order differential equations, convergence and divergence and um, putting things in like A plus BI form. I forget what that's called. Oh God, can you tell I haven't done any math in a really long time? So today it's going to be kind of like a get, getting back into the swing of things kind of vlog. I'm moving out of my home in two weeks and I'm kind of nervous and I'm kind of scared. And my friends are all moving up on like the 22nd, 24th-ish kind of time, which is good. I know that I'm not going to Davis alone and I know that my friends are gonna be there eventually, but at the same time, it's just like being in a place <laughs> all alone. Uh, it kind of stresses me out. Something about summer just makes you so incredibly lazy and lethargic. I think it's because humans naturally like structure and schedule. <sighs> okay, I need to start figuring out what I need to do today. Ugh. I have a new podcast episode that should be coming out soon. I'm not going to tell you who it is or what they do, but it's very exciting. Let me give you guys a little podcast behind the scenes. So what I do is I either go to the person and interview them if they're local, or I do like a remote conversation with them, and then I have to edit the conversation that we have together, which is very tedious sometimes because it's just like, I want to put out the best reflection of both me and that person that's being interviewed, so I do my best to cut out any ums, and then I put together an intro, a middle, and then an outro, and then I ship it off to them. and. It doesn't seem like a lot of time spent, because objectively this is the least time consuming form of, I guess, content that I create. The most difficult part is just the editing of the said podcast, because it's so long. I'm very happy that I do it. I think this podcast is mostly for me. I know that sounds very selfish, but like this, I do this podcast for me and mostly, and like not for really anyone else because like even the one with Wyatt and Donna, even though they're my friends and I do, like we've had these kinds of conversations before, the fact that I can list, like if I'm having a bad day where I feel like I'm not smart enough to do physics or if I'm not worthy enough to like study where I'm studying or it, it, basically if I feel this overwhelming wave of imposter syndrome. The fact that I can listen to those podcasts or those conversations that my lovely friends and I have had and realize that like I'm not alone and that we all kind of feel that way and it the, the feeling's temporary. There are moments where we feel sure insecure in our ability but it's not every day, you know? I think that helps bring me a lot of solace. Science, technology, mathematics, engineering. The four pillars to the academic disciplines known across the nation as STEM. 